Hello everyone, today marks a monumental day in the world of laptops. A slew of new devices featuring the groundbreaking Snapdragon X Elite and Snapdragon X Plus chips has just been launched. These chips promise to deliver outstanding performance with remarkable energy efficiency, offering incredible battery life. Even more exciting is their cost-effectiveness, which should drive down the overall price of these new laptops. I had the chance to get my hands on a few of these devices, and here are my first impressions. Let's start with the new Surface devices, the Surface Pro 11 and the Surface Laptop 7. The Surface Laptop 7 has undergone significant changes, particularly with its new OLED screens. The previous generation's 13.5-inch IPS panels have been upgraded to stunning 13.8-inch OLED displays. This upgrade also applies to the 15-inch models, providing better contrast ratios, improved viewing angles, and superior image quality. Plus, the bezels are thinner, and for the first time on a Surface laptop, the display corners are rounded, much like what Apple has been doing with their MacBooks for years, but now on all four corners. The keyboard layout remains largely the same, except for the new Copilot key, which is an AI button promising to enhance user experience through AI functionalities. More on the Copilot and Copilot Plus in future discussions. The trackpads on these laptops have also seen an upgrade to haptic touchpads, replacing the physical mechanism with a motor that simulates the sensation of tapping. This change is present in both the 13.8-inch and 15-inch models. Interestingly, the new Surface laptops seem a bit chunkier than before. This thicker design suggests better thermals, likely to accommodate the higher wattage of Snapdragon X Elite chips. This new design direction shows Microsoft's commitment to optimizing its hardware for these ARM chips, which is a promising sign. On the ports front, you now get an additional USB-C on the left side, while the right side retains the Surface Connect port. Performance-wise, the Snapdragon X Elite and Snapdragon X Plus chips are reported to be exceptional, but we've only seen synthetic benchmarks so far. The real test will be how they handle non-native apps, a long-standing issue with ARM-based Windows devices. We've been promised better emulation and support, but I'll need to see it to believe it. Moving on to the Surface Pro 11, now sports an OLED screen, significantly enhancing its visual appeal. The overall design remains largely unchanged, maintaining its sleek exterior and the convenient SSD access through a magnetic plate. I don't have the exact pricing yet, but I've been told these devices will be more affordable than previous models. Keep an eye on the description for updates on pricing and additional details. Now let's discuss two other exciting devices. First, the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7X starts at $1,200. This laptop is a marvel of design and performance with a full metal build. It features a superb keyboard with 1.5mm travel and, despite its slim profile, just 12.9mm thick and weighing 1.29kg, it packs a 14.5-inch OLED panel that can peak at 1000 nits. Combined with a 70 v battery and the Snapdragon X chip, Lenovo claims it offers multi-day battery life potentially up to 21 hours. This level of performance at this price point is impressive. Lastly, we have the Asus VigoBook S15, starting at $1,100. This device offers a larger 15-inch screen with a 120Hz 3K resolution. While not as premium as the Lenovo, it still boasts excellent features, including a 70 v battery and extensive i-O options with two USB-A ports, an HDMI port, and a micro SD reader. The VivoBook S15 also supports the highest wattage of the Snapdragon X laptops we've seen so far at 45 watts. My initial impressions of these Snapdragon X devices are overwhelmingly positive. The variety and quality of these laptops are impressive, indicating a bright future for ARM-based Windows devices. However, I recommend waiting for comprehensive reviews, particularly concerning app emulation performance, before making a purchase. Stay tuned for in-depth reviews and more detailed performance analysis.